In this video, we'll talk about the different power generation methods in immersive engineering. We'll set up these water wheels. We will look at windmills. We'll also talk about all the other kinds of generators, although we can't use them yet. We'll also talk about immersive engineering's power transfer through these wires and batteries. All right, so Agricraft was removed since the last episode. Uh, I wanted to grab so I could get a bunch of the industrial hemp stuff going. So I just made half a farm of that. Also some aubergines um, and all the vanilla crops. So yeah, basically um, this is my fix for the fact that we don't have agricraft. Um, but yeah, I wanted some of this hemp so I could get a bunch of this industrial hemp fiber. I also moved all the uh, immersive engineering stuff downstairs. So it's basically the same setup. Um, you know, we got a drum being filled by the coal cook. Actually, I don't know if I showed you guys that. But basically, it's just being pumped out through there. Um, got our crude blast furnace and coke oven here. Got our metal press. Uh, I also made a wire mold to make the uh, the LV cables and stuff. And then we got this over here. So working on power gen and power transfer because these uh, cables aren't that great, in my opinion. I don't. I don't love X utilities pipes at all, so whenever I can get past them, I like to not have to use them. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and change to the immersive engineering wires instead of a bunch of pipes and cables and stuff for the time being. Uh, once we get, if we have Ender IO in here, yeah. So once we get up to Ender IO conduits, we'll use those because those are kind of the best, I think. But yeah. So the first thing we want to do is make these LV wire coils. Uh, technically, we want to make these first, but the insulated ones basically won't zap you. Um, I'll show you what I mean when I get there. Then we're also going to need these wire connectors to connect to each machine and power generation. I accidentally made these wire relays, but you can use JISO. It should be pretty easy for you to uh, find the recipes for all these things. Then we also want the HV capacitor because it doesn't matter what capacitor we have, and we want whatever the best one to store as much energy as we can is. And then we're going to need two connect dynamos to make the three water wheels. I'm making three for a specific reason. I'll show you guys that later. Uh, one windmill, and then a bunch of this tough fabric that we can turn into windmill sails. I believe it's eight for a windmill. So that's basically all these quests done. Um, go ahead and pause and let you read if you want. And then this is the water mill, actually, apparently, I, or water wheel. Uh, apparently, I got one for a ward, so maybe we'll set up a second setup at some point. Uh, and then this is the wires. And as you can see down here, um, uninsulated wires will damage anything that touches them. Uh, let's go ahead and show you some of that. So the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my capacitor right down here. Uh, oh, wait. Should I do that? Um, I'll change it to output. You can just right click with the uh, hammer, and it, as you can see, the top blue is input, orange is output, and there's no connection. Um, hmm. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna set this output. I'll just put this guy on here for now. Um, and then I'll make another one of those transfer notes to put on this guy. Not that we're gonna actually probably use the peak much. We might. Um, but if we need to, we can just use this one. So yeah, now this battery. This battery holds a lot of power. Let me see how much exactly. I actually don't know if I can see that right now. So I'm gonna break these cables here. And then uh, on the bottom here, we go ahead and get that to be an Ooh, do you want that? Do you want that to be input from down here. But if I make a windmill, I don't wanna switch that actually. We'll leave it like this for now. Um, and then we'll go ahead and set a connector on there, and that will get power through these wires. And as you can see there, like actual wires, it's not like a block, block, block for each cable. Um, so yeah, that's why they can hurt you, because if you do this, something like this, and if you jumped into that wire, it would give you some damage. Uh, the HV wires give you more damage than the LV wires, and uh, MV gives a medium amount. Anyway, um, let's set up the water wheel setup. Um, there's a specific way you can set it up that gives you like max efficiency, and that's what I'm gonna do. So 
Uh, let me go ahead and do that, and uh, once I have a space cleared out for it, I will be back. So this is basically the most efficient way you can set up your water wheels. Uh, so where this blue concrete is, that's where the water goes. Uh, where the cobblestone is, that can be any block. Um, and also where that glowing glass is, it can be any block. Uh, I use glowing glass because I like to be able to see into it. And this way it kind of looks a little invisible. Uh, so yeah, the blue concrete is where the water goes. Uh, this water will flow that way, this one will stay there. This one will flow one block this way. This one will flow all the way over and down. Uh, then this cobblestone kind of lets it keep up against the water wheel to make it a little more efficient. And then this stuff down here lets it also be pretty much against the water wheel. So now I'm going to place some water wheels and then uh, place the water and I'll show you where we're going. Okay, so this looks like a mess. Uh, hopefully when I put the connect dynamo in, uh, actually just the other way. You have to have that hole facing into the water wheels. Um, so yeah, once I get this in and then the water wheels, hopefully it'll fix itself. I just got to dig out a little bit to place this last one. Come on, let me place it. There we go. Alright, let's let that dry up. Um, let's put fill this back in. Nope, not like that. Let's fill this hole in two. Hmm, I'm gonna go give all those block updates and then we'll see if that works. Alright, that looks like the picture that I've been going off of. Uh, here it is. I guess it's flipped 180. Uh, now that one's technically for FTB Infinity Evolved Expert Mode, but it's the same device, so the only difference might be that it's generating less power or something. But basically this one uh, is flowing that way, and then this one is the source is there, so it's flowing that way. This one's flowing all the way over and down. So yeah, that should be the max output it can give. Uh, and now we just add a connector here. And, uh, let's see. I guess we can run the power up to there. Keep it a little bit out of the way. Um, yeah, and then we'll just run it here. So basically these, uh, relays can do multiple, um, wires. But as you can see, if I right-click, it can't attach to another wire here. The connectors can only take one wire. Um, but these relays, they might have a limit. I don't know what it is, because I've definitely put like 10 or more wires on one of these I think so I'm not sure what the limit is um, but I'm pretty sure there's got to be one yeah that's a lot of passive generation of power um, yeah as you can see the battery's going up uh, so yeah that's the water wheels uh, next we'll do go ahead and do the windmills because that's uh, kind of the next information we need all right so I actually make this thing it's called an engineer's voltmeter and it should show us how much power is going through a system. So if I like right click on this up block, no, if I right click on this, energy stored zero. Average loss between that is 0.9 percent. Okay, so these wires have a little bit of loss. But what I want to know is, so yeah, it's like a couple percent of loss. But this is passive power, so it's fine. Uh, I thought there's a way I could find out how much is going through each. Um, connector and stuff. Maybe there's not. Okay, so I, t I hopped into a quick test world real quick, uh, just to because these can actually tell you the input. And with all three of these set up the way they are, it inputs 88 RF tech. So not too bad. Um, the windmills might actually be better now that I'm actually looking at how much they do. But this is less work, so we're just gonna stick with these in the world. Anyway, let's get back into that. Either way, passive power is good. I mean, our tree farm is semi-passive, like, the only thing we have to do is replant saplings. Um, but now we have completely passive power. Uh, so that's kind of, that's a lot better actually. Uh, but now we'll go ahead and go to the windmill. So actually, to be honest, I don't care about windmills because they are not nearly as much power as water wheels. Um, so I'm just gonna demonstrate them and then probably not use them. Um, they're good for before you have steel, or they're decent for before you have steel, but I basically get steel, well, I basically get steel as soon as I get the, uh, creosote, uh, the coke oven, and, uh, 
the cocoa oven's already required to get these. So basically, the windmill, I think you can only have one per connect dynamo. Although maybe I should check that. Oh, it looks like uh, they're both spinning. So maybe you can have multiple of them. Can you put a water wheel on there too? Oh, I guess you have to have the water, the water wheel to spin. Either way, windmills just, well, windmills might be better if I can have multiple on there. But the problem is uh, they're only better when they're like 200 blocks up. Uh, I think Y200 is what the quest said. Um, and I don't want to have a pillar that just goes all the way up there. And I don't have any wireless power transfer. So right now, uh, this is probably just not going to be a thing. But then if you want to upgrade them, you can right click on the center piece with the windmill sail things. And as you can see, it spins faster. And that also generates more power. But we're going to not use them. And I uh, broke that. I think this is the one that has all the sails on it. That's what you can check. Um, like that. Yeah. So. When you have advanced stuff on, that one tags means it's got sails. If you need to differentiate them for some reason. Alright, so there are also other power gens in this mod. Um, there's the lightning rod, the diesel generator, and the portable generator. Basically, as you can read here, the lightning rod, um, you stack a bunch of steel fences on it, and then when it gets struck by lightning, uh, you gain a lot of power. But it shouldn't get struck by lightning because we're in like a kind of desert biome, so that's not going to matter. The diesel gen is uh, another bigger generator block, um, but it requires a lot of infrastructure. You gotta have diesel or biodiesel production. And then the portable generator uh, uses buckets of gasoline, which can need some infrastructure, uh, and it can generate a bunch of power too. Um, over here, I believe, is the infrastructure to do that. There's also a refinery that also makes it so you can turn your oil or whatever into. Uh, gasoline and stuff like that. Uh, I think I got this quest because I I got this what? I haven't looked at a pump jack. That's weird. Uh, I think this kind of creosote is the right kind of oil. So that's weird. Um but yeah I don't think there's much other power gen in this mod. But like like I said, these water wheels are pretty overpowered. Um they give like I've only been gone a few minutes and it's already over a million RF. So we don't really need to worry about power gen for a little while. When we do, we'll come back to power gen. We might come back in a different mod or this mod. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So when we get there, uh, we'll get there. There's also one more kind of generator. Uh, it's the thermoelectric generator. Basically, uh, it requires constant tin, but that's easy enough to make in any kind of alloying thing you have. Uh, but basically, you can put cold stuff on on two sides and hot stuff on two sides, and then it'll basically take the difference of the temperatures and figure out the amount of power generated or something like that. We can actually look at this in the book. That'll explain it better, not that book. Yeah, so this page obviously says what you want to know. And this is the temperature, so if you have these blocks, it gives a certain amount of difference of temperature, which generates power. Um, that's another power, powerful uh, generation method, but these are so good that we're just going to not deal with it. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button down below if you liked it. Uh, subscribe down below too. Uh, I really appreciate it and uh, it helps the channel. Uh, if you want to see whatever video YouTube thinks is the best for you, click this video. And if you want to subscribe, hit the button right there. And I'll see you next time.